spring is officially here. Began yesterday afternoon, and that means all the beautiful wildflowers are in bloom, especially the state flower, the blue bonnet. Many families in South Texas have a tradition of taking pictures in the blue bonnet fields, but they're not always easy to find, and we have a list of spots that you can find them right here. All right, first up is Wild Seed Farms in Fredericksburg. This farm is free to visit and boasts 200 acres of farmland. This is the nation's largest working wildflower farm. Wild Seed Farms is only a 90 minute drive from downtown San Antonio. They have walking trails, flower wines to try, and plenty of flowers to see. According to KSAT.com, the farm announced on Facebook in February that blue bonnets were already available. Next is the Blue Bonnet Trails in Ennis. This trail of blue bonnets is located roughly four hours north of downtown San Antonio on your way to Dallas. You can enjoy 40 miles of blue bonnets on the official Blue Bonnet Trail of Texas. The trails are expected to be open April 1st through the 30th with the Ennis Blue Bonnet Trails Festival taking place April 14th through the 16th. Okay, located between Austin and Texas Hill Country is Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center in Austin. And this center has areas where you can admire flowers and take photos as well. 15 bucks for adults, eight for kids, for youth and kids four and under are free to visit. A local spot that folks have spotted blue bonnets is at McAllister Dog Park. The perk is that you don't have to drive far out of town for this one, and the dog park is one and a half acres off leash, uh, featuring a shaded open play area, picnic shelter, and paved trail. So bring your pups with you. And last but not least, Traders Village right here in San Antonio. There's going to be 10 acres of various wildflowers and sunflowers at Traders Village this spring from May 13th to June 4th. Traders Village is located southwest San Antonio near Loop 410 at Old Pearsall Road. Admission to the flower fields will be $10 per person for anyone three years and up. And please do not stop on the side of the highway I to know. take don't pictures in the blue bonnets. Mm -hmm. You can find the full article on these blue bonnet hotspots on ksat.com. And if you don't know much about blue bonnets, or why they are so popular, we chatted with the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center about all things blue bonnets. I'll be taking notes or just copying off yours. <laughs> Why are Texans so obsessed with blue bonnets? I think it's one of the few things that you can see in mass where you're, you know, when you see them sometimes they can just be acres of solid blue. Other wildflowers will do that also, but I think the blue color is also very appealing because there just aren't that many flowers that are that color blue. And of course they're the state flower of Texas, so there's a lot of state pride that's part of all that. Being native to the state, they've been here for millennia. They've evolved over time to be adapted to our climate and to our soil types. Um, they really only occur in Texas for the most part, and uh, I think that makes them special also. So the best time of year to see Texas wildflowers would be for blue bonnets early, I would say, in March. For a wider diversity, I would say April and May, and a lot of it is really going to depend on the weather. If we have good rains through the winter, that generally makes a good wildflower season the following spring, as long as we don't get too much rain. So too dry or too wet can be a problem. The seedlings start to germinate in the fall, so the ones that are blooming right now actually germinated the previous, probably October, give or take a month or two. They grow as rosettes close to to the ground for the rest of the winter and then as soon as it starts to warm up in the spring they start to elongate and make their lovely beautiful blue flowers that we all admire. And you can plant plants, actual plants, in a pot this time of year but if you want a big field of them I would suggest planting the seed in the fall. So if people want to get pictures taken with blue bonnets with their family, um, the Wildflower Center is a great place to go. We have uh, some different patches around that you can take pictures um, in the middle of the blue bonnets. We ask that people stay on the trails, but, um, but there are some good places for that. And it's safe, you know, you don't have to deal with traffic um, or dogs or, you know, we watch for fire ants. Um, so those are all things that you have to watch out for if you're getting your blue bonnet pictures taken in other places. People often go to the roadside, which, you know, I'd be very cautious about doing that, especially if you're taking little kids or pets because you don't want to have, you know, an accident with traffic. Other places that you could go would be some of the parks, you know, uh, McKinney Ruff State Park, Enchanted Rock, or some local park would be a great place to get Blue Bonnet pictures. And just a great reason right. to drive into the hill country, too. Right. Look at us, blue, blue bonnets. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, we planned it that way. For more information on the LBJ Wildflower Center, just head to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just scan the QR code on your screen. Yeah.